Hey everybody, so I just wanted to put together a little, a little video um, while we're up here at the studio working um, for Whole Bean edition number seven. This set is a little unique in that all the sales from this are going towards helping us go to Tanzania and work with Nama Crafts um, for a year. So there's some fun things. We stamped this with some, some kind of different things. We got the traditional Whole Bean stamp, but uh, some kind of fun things I wanted to kind of walk you through. So uh, we get started and I'll show you um, at the wheel. We get started throwing and start from the beginning. So in thinking about this cup compared to other whole bean cups I've done, I wanted to go for something a little more complicated, a little more interesting. So um, I've had a number of people say they wanted to see larger cups. So I've had some forms in the past that I've done that I have in mind when I'm throwing this piece. So I started with a little bit more clay because I know that I'm going to want to trim a foot on this piece. So I'm going to leave the bottom pretty thick. I'm going to make it a little bit wider at the base. One of the things I wanted to add in this cup is a nice heavy kind of bold throwing ring. Um, so I kind of formed the, the basic shape. I want it to curve in to the center, in the middle there a little bit. Get the basic form, smooth it out, clean off my throwing rib here, and then slow it down a little bit. Dig this in. Create kind of an interesting spiral on the way up, and then just finish the rim. So now we've thrown the piece, um, I want to add two stamps to it, and this being the uh, Africa, the Tanzania set, um, we're going to stamp it with this little uh, stamp here that my wife Maria actually carved, just a neat little rubber stamp that uh, we're going to press into the still kind of semi-wet clay, it's, we call it leather hard at this stage. So I'll take this, support it on the inside, kind of press that. In, pull it away. I rotate it a little bit. And I'll put in my whole bean stamp. I do that just by taking the butt end of this trimming tool, rolling that around to get the circle. And I take my coffee bean that's been uh, glued to the bottom of a pen and just roll that in, rock it, and stamp it in. And there we go. And then we'll take this to the, uh, the wheel after it dries for a little bit and trim a foot to the bottom. So now we're moving on to the trimming phase. Now that the piece is just, just the right moisture content, not so hard um, that I can't trim it, but I don't want it to be so soft that I'm going to leave fingerprints and mar the piece. So I just take it, invert it on the wheel, stick these little lugs of clay down to hold it to the wheel head. And I have a few different tools to slowly just trim away the clay as I'm spinning it. This piece is kind of, this series is a, unique from my other ones in that I'm actually putting a foot on the bottom. With the other sets I've done, I just leave it kind of a flat bottom that I smooth away. In this outer edge here, one of the things I'm looking at is I had kind of a I threw these to have a bit of a curve to them. And there's kind of a nice um, sort of rhythm to this curve and then that back cut. So I'm looking at this angle very carefully. At this point, after I've trimmed the piece, I'll just sign the bottom. So now that the piece has been stamped and trimmed and signed and numbered, um, I'm going to add the handle. I do this by actually pulling uh, the handle directly off the pot. So I'll just adhere this after I've scored it. Put a little bit of water on there. I wiggle this and press that into place. Give it a tug to make sure it's not going to come off. And then I'll actually pull this and stretch this with water. Just continue to draw on this, rotating it, eventually stretch it out to a handle. 
in pulling the handle, I, I try to think about how comfortable is this going to be and rounding it out and conforming to a hand. And don't want too many sharp edges. I'm getting towards the end. I'll smooth it out and begin to attach the bottom here. And I'll actually take this and tear off this extra. I'll actually press that kind of in there, clean up that bottom a little bit, and there it is. So now we've, uh, we've pulled the handle, um, we've got a completed product and that's the, the last stage working wet clay. So I'm going to be firing these in the next couple of weeks and glazing them. If, uh, if you want one of these, um, we're going to have more information in the video description. And um, also if you want to follow our blog and learn more about what we're doing in Tanzania, we'd love it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.